Edge. A man who has spent a decade atop WWE with the accolades to prove it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! He's held the Intercontinental, the US, the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. Well, this just went from a match to a fight. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya. Absolutely unbridled aggression every time Dragunov competes. Whoa, jump starting the action. That is some unsportsmanlike conduct. Oh, give me a break, Saxton. This referee has seen enough and issued a warning. Yeah, now is not the time to push the referee's patience. Well, maybe it's just me, but you can only be disrespected so many times like that before you start to develop a complex. You get slapped a lot, Corey? It's none of your business, Cole. Oh, and power! Intensity and anger boiling over, all coming to a head up on the stage. As we can only see, it's only getting worse by the second, Michael. Just going all out with every blow. When you're taking on a mastermind like Seth Rollins, the most important thing to remember is that you have to take away his ability to control the match. Pace is a good place to start. If Rollins wants things fast, slow them down. If he tries to be methodical, start out running him. Yeah, only the tempo here could definitely fluster Rollins. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Oh, look at this. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. Whip back into the ring. Action has made it back to the ring, and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. Oh, ball up to the back. However you feel about Seth Rollins, he knows how to get the crowd going. Setting up neck breaker position. Oh, that could be a knockout blow. Ah, uh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Oh, there's the old stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Oh, man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. And Dragunov is brought to a disadvantage now. Ilya has to trust his instincts at this point. Oh. Snap suplex. Dragunov getting put to the test with that hit. Seth with an absolutely predatory... Here we go! Five-star frog splat! Cover! Two count kicks out! I am in shock. What's it gonna take to keep this guy down? Ross looking for it! The star connects! It is all Rollins now! He kicked out at two. The amount of damage Dragunov can and will take in any given match is unbelievable. And we are seeing that right now. He is still in this thing. And that's no way. Dragunov fires back. 
And he puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. Time for Dragunov to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. All the way out Plex. Toss back into the ring. Look out! Suicide die! Whatever it takes to win. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Snap suplex. He has to be at his limit now. Yeah, this match has not been kind to him. Well, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. Jarring impact. Ah, face first off the post. Oh, he powered out. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Refs still counting, close to calling it. Hurry back in. A sound suplex. Oh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Oh, man. Kick to the face. He's on his heel a bit now. And the intensity in every move Dragunov delivers doesn't seem to be wavering one bit. Well, that changed. Rollins may be laid to rest for the win. There's two. Oh, not yet. They just got the shoulder up. Don't ever doubt the tenacity of Seth Rollins. Now, this is what you can expect from Seth freaking Rollins. And Dragunov realizing he'll have to come back twice as strong for the next one. And we know the mad Russian will. This has been an absolutely brutal display of will from these men. You can see their flames starting to flicker. And it's only a matter of time before one goes out. And Seth continues to take on more and more damage. Yeah, Rollins has been broken down over the course of this match. And Dragunov showing that he's still not done going on the offensive. If you're Dragunov, you got to be looking to deliver the knockout soon. Oh, and an elbow caught him and cleared him to the floor. Oh, perfect kick. Battling ringside, and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Power bomb. Almost out of control, but it doesn't matter when Dragunov is practically invincible. How in the world do these superstars have anything left at this point? The arena's thinking the same thing. All eyes are from the top. He paid for that one. Oh, man, big time. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. There's the jumping knee drop. So precise. Oh, man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. Ooh, knee right to the spine. Mate. Uh-oh. Let's go. We're going to see it. With a stop. We've seen this win matches for Rollins. Makes the cover. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner. Seth Rollins once again standing victorious. Congrats to Seth freaking Rollins. Job well done. I don't think there was ever a doubt in Seth's mind that this would be the outcome.
Well, we, yeah, we actually get a handshake. Shocking. <laughs> refreshing, I say. Hey, a refreshing show of sportsmanship and respect. I expect the respect to end right there. Let's get out. This match is underway, and I have to commend them for that display of esteem between these superstars. Yeah, but that can always backfire. You can't always expect the same mutual respect from everyone you meet. You're not totally off base there, Corey. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Oh, a hip drop to the gut! Uh-oh. Niven throwing caution to the wind. You can see her struggling to find her bearings. Up high, through the air, and connects. And that was a collision you don't want to be on the receiving end of. Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. That offense taking a toll on her. The Scottish powerhouse, Piper Niven. We already know what she needs to do in this one. Unleash that power, unleash that ruthless aggression. Unleash the real Piper Niven. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Ooh, refusing to let her get into her head. Into the corner. This can't be good. Niven turns the tables. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. Oh. And again. Great way to wear down your opponent. A uh, quick response to Fire's offense. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. with a stop to the gut. Bonsai drop. She got her down. Is this it? She was close to the end there. No celebrations yet. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. Counter. And now there's an opening. Alba Fire digging deep into the arsenal here with the goalie bomb. What an incredible attack that was from Alba. Systematic chaos at one. From the top, Alba Fire with a swan time. Game, set, match for Alba Fire. Kick out, thought that was the end of her. I do not know how you survived that. Staying alive there is unheard of. Is there still enough left to try that number again? Or is her confidence shaken? She just rocked Piper there, managing to shake the powerhouse. Scoops their opponent up. Uh-oh. Look out. Spiked with a Michinoku driver. It's over. Fire is done. Pin stopped by rope break. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Incoming. Bang. Are you kidding me? Jumping elbow drop. Oh, look at her answering back. Oh, a springboard roundhouse. Oh, and Niven turns the tables. Draped across the top rope. This could do it! And that'll be it! Finally a victory! What a hard-fought win! Here is your winner, Piper Niven! I have to commend them for the respect they displayed bell to bell. Absolutely, Corey. This is a merited victory by far. Definitely a feel-good moment, guys.
This is a big win for sure. And being able to walk out of the ring with your head held high is a good feeling too. Before this match starts, maybe some good sportsmanship. Yeah, maybe that's asking all oh, too much. Oh. Well, that's how you escalate the disrespect. Well, guys, you know, they should have known better than to take the bait. And one of these two superstars ended up looking like a fool, and we are just getting started. Tensions are high. Emotions running high in this highly anticipated match, but this is officially underway. Look, Cole, it's just business here. No need for the niceties or handshakes or hugging it out. I'm just pointing out a lack of common courtesy here, Corey. It's all competition, Cole. Don't forget that. The time for niceties can be after the belt if they so choose to see fit. He was elusive there. Picture perfect drop kick. Oof. Wrapping the arm over that top rope. Very effective. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. And Kobe fights back. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. We know the lengths that Kofi Kingston is willing to go to. We've seen that time and time again. Is this opponent willing to go just as far, Corey? I think the key is to avoid that, actually. If you try to match Kofi's high-risk style, it might not work in your favor. I say this guy should stick to fundamentals. Let Kingston do the high-risk moves, and his luck's bound to run out. Elbow drop. Looking for an early pin. Two. His shoulder up after the two count. Two and a half, and if he keeps this up, we'll be out of here sooner than expected. Oh, man, landed hard. And that explosive style of Kingston got dampened a bit there. Destructive offense from Sanga. Springboard off the top. Springboard misses the target. Up and just end this now. Oh, he's playing possum. Denying a two count there. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Yeah. Rolling neck snap. Brutal. Oh, looking to cripple the leg. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. And the pressure of Saga continues to mount. And Kofi is on a roll. To the sky. Oh, just completely off target there. And that might have been too erratic of a decision to take such a high risk at this junction of the match. When Saga has you in his sights, it's just a matter of when, not if. Stop after stop after stop. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Was coming there. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. Oh. And Kofi hit with some true offensive adversity right there. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Scouted. 
Looks like Saga might be bleeding now. Kofi was perfectly on target. And picks up a monumental victory. Here is your winner, Kofi Kingston. Not the way you want to see things end after the earlier blatant show of disrespect. They've got to be feeling like they just proved a point here with their actions, though. I think this win might just embolden them moving forward. The way they see it, they proved they were right to take their competition here lightly. That just might be, Byron, but I can't imagine how they can't have even a sliver of respect for them moving forward. That was a battle. The king of strong style. Ready to deliver big hits and get the big win. That's the only way he knows how. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke. The king of strong style is ready for action. His renowned striking ability, his MMA background. If you come at the king, you best not miss. Especially when the king can hit back. Shinsuke's proven it with newfound brutality. Here comes the lone wolf. And his opponent. From Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin! A perfect hybrid athlete, size, speed, strength, and skill. Baron Corbin, one of the most dominant forces to attack a WWE ring in recent memory.
His pass destroyed. Baron Corbin looks to unleash some pent-up aggression here tonight. I, for one, cannot wait to see it. And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in their vocabulary at this point. I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. Reversal on top of reversal. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Kick! Oh. Using their boot on the throat in the corner. But this could also light a fire under you. Make you fight even harder. Ooh, DDT delivered. And shoulders are down. Kicks out at just one. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. What's your game plan if you're set to clash with perhaps the most feared striker in all of WWE, Shinsuke Nakamura? Step one is be a moving target. But the bigger strategy is to work around his strikes. Maybe take Shinsuke down to the mat. He's a potent striker, but you might be able to get the better of him on the ground. Knee right to the gut. That offense might have rocked the confidence of Baron. My God, enough! Hits back against Nakamura. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? Oh, the elbow connects. Stomping, ouch. Not the position you want to be in right now. Oh, look at this, that was quite the impact on the apron. You might be in shock now, but you'll be feeling lasting pain for a few weeks to come. Handle. Baron taking a step back and measuring his opponent. Down with a suplex. Can he do it here? He forces a break before the count of two. So resilient. Just caught flush. He's got him scouted. Shinsuke might be able to start mounting something here. Shinsuke isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put an end to him. Oh! Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Soaring. Oh, no! The high risk just resulted in a big splat. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. What a shot by Nakamura. Oh, disabling the leg with that. Steps through into the arm bar. Traps the leg as well. This is trouble. There is no escape. Oh, man. Quick as a cat, just like that. That was a thing of beauty. Something of a competitive edge has been brewing between these superstars lately. A drive to prove it really has the upper hand here. Their competition can really bring out the best in people, and I think we will be seeing that from them here and beyond. Counters that. Arm ringer. Able to fight out with a punch in the face. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Tossed around like a rat. This could do it. What? Oh, he kicked out. That was a long two count there. Connecting with a sharp elbow. Vicious right forearm. Escape just in time. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Oh, walloped by a huge club. Oh, knee smashing the face. He just barely dodges. He's just 
one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Thanks for coming. End of days! Nakamura could be conquered. Two, three, no, a two count. Pure instinct from Nakamura to get the shoulder up. If Shinsuke gets to his feet, you'll see even more of that instinct. And Corbin must be feeling robbed. I'm sure in his mind he got the three count. And I ask, the way these combatants have been unloading on one another, how are they still going? I think they're running on pure adrenaline alone now. Certainly a treat for all of us to watch here tonight. This superstar can now enjoy his victory. Wait, what the hell is he doing? Oh, no, not the steel chair. Come on. Oh, oh my God. Him. This is absolutely heinous. Totally uncalled for. He's out of control. I challenge you to find a more impressive young talent. Very skilled, but also very arrogant. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. This young man is as cocky as the day is long, but he back it up every night. Theory is due, but he has a habit of letting his ego get in the way of his talent. Well, it's at least a start, Cole. You can't deny his talent and how it's propelled him to the highest heights. But can he stay at those heights? Or will he crash back down to earth? Presenting Indus Sheer from Punjab, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Recently, Jinder has led Indus Sheer to new heights, but Mahal himself is still a threat in the ring. Possibly the most determined version of Jinder that we've ever seen. And he will not be hindered.
Referee signals for the bell, and we are finally underway. These superstars are seeing red right now, gentlemen. Brutal stomp to the body. And oh, and then the chest as well. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Big knee to the midsection. He steers clear of contact. Now a series of vicious out in the turn. Stumps. You gotta wonder if there's more. That might be it. Barely kicks out. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Delivers the knee drop. And Mahal is in control. Can Fury ride out this outpouring? Austin finding a way to slow his opponent's assault down. Austin was getting grinded down, but could have just started a quick turnaround here. He's taking this to the floor now. How's that for a counter? Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. To give the devil his due, I'll admit that Austin Theory is quite the impressive in-ring talent, especially for his age. But, Corey, I have to imagine that his relative lack of experience could potentially cause him some problems in the long run here. Now you actually got a point, Cole. Theory's a standout talent for sure. But for as sure as himself, as he rightfully is, he still has some holes in his game. When it comes to in-ring IQ and that kind of ring awareness, Theory can be at a disadvantage. Trap the arm. Into the neck breaker. He can pin his opponent right here. And he manages to kick out in one. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Pressing the foot to the back of the head. And then a stop. Jinder got it taken to him there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. I think that one busted up Mahal's face. To stomp in every single part of his body. The proverbial mud hole has been stomped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Jinder's hopes are wavering. Theory is doing the job of breaking the opposition down. STO! Oh, down by the DDT. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Neck breaker! And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. Sweep of the leg. Good counter. Yeah. Ah, Jinder manages to counter. Oh, man. He's absorbing some tough hits now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. A flat out power into the scoop slam. Scoop slam. Bam. Oh my. Knee right to the back of the neck. Sight set on the top rope. And frustration might be starting to set in. He turns it around. Jinder Mahal with a drop to a hold, looking to put this one away. Camel clutch locked in. It's not embarrassing to tap out. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had it fully locked in. Oh, it's ruthless striking. Turns that back on Jinder. Had that one scouted. The Maharaja looking for it with the Colossus. Does Theory have any fight left? Two. There it is. Jinder Mahal is your winner. Here is your winner. The modern day.
A tough loss for Austin Theory tonight. Austin Theory forced to take the L tonight. Theory is furious and rightfully so. This is highly suspect. Here comes six foot eight, 385 pounds of chaos. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Shields, Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman. Terrifying power with unmatched brute. And ever since his return, Strowman has been on a path of destruction. Impressive physical ability. One of the biggest and baddest to ever step foot in WWE. Here comes a truly vicious superstar. And Drew Gulak isn't here to play nice. And his opponents, first from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. This is a man who certainly is never shy about torturing his opponents. Drew Gulak well versed in every submission hold in the book. And from what I hear, every one of them hurts. Yeah, the lights can go out with just one move from Drew Gulak. A true Broad Street bully. A Lucha Libre megastar now looking to dominate WWE. I'd say there's a very good chance he'll do that. And representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Well, it is time to pay respect to the boss of the street. Santos Escobar does not play games. Escobar is calm, steady, calculated, and does whatever he has to do to succeed. When Escobar joined WWE, he arrived here under a mask. But he quickly put the past behind him. He evolved. He became the superstar we know today. That change seems like a very good one for Santos.
superstars in the ring, and the referee officially starts the match. Well, this is the way we're starting, Cole. I think the WWE Universe is in for quite a show tonight. German suplex turns the tides. Damn. Gets him with the counter. And all the impact brought to the knee. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? Elbow throw saying not today. Countered it just in time. Scooped up. Follow slam with the bridge. Looking for more damage here. Ow. Release back suplex. Kick to the midsection. Could be thinking about the gory special. Yes, he gets there. A few seconds longer in this match would have been over. Put into the corner now. Close line to the back of the neck. Uh-oh. Reversal from Gulak. A counter answered by another counter. And down. Oh, smash in the corner. Oof. Deconstructing the knee there. Uh-oh. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Shades of the old EC dub, and the kendo stick is introduced to the proceedings. Great strength being shown here. Down across the knee. That won't just separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. Uh-oh, watch out! Oh, the Russian leg sweep. And will this be it? And he stops the count. like this can have so many twists and turns. Corey, what will have an impact on this matchup? You need to strike first. Dictate the pace of the match. Since anything goes, you can add anything to the equation. Each competitor responds differently to the rules being thrown out the window. The key is who can stay alert and remain in control. I wish someone would throw you out a window. Tossing them aside. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Strowman able to get out of the way. Oh, he might eat out of a straw after that one. And he retaliates on Strowman. Not so fast. He thinks he has it. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. Reversal! Can he take advantage? Series of reversals. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Oh, oh are you oh kidding me? Back of his neck. He's quickly the cover. Call Hunter's secretary. Tell him we found the hammer. I didn't think this match was close to over. Leg sweep. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this. Escobar connecting with the Phantom Driver. That could finish Drew off. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Evading offense. He returns to the ring. Continuing to attack the neck across the top rope. Does he have him here? And he stops the count. Here it comes. Oh, the old rear chest strike. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. And a kidney count. The neck breaker. Here's the cover for the win. Kick it out before the count. Not quite enough to put him away. 
Into the ring now. Oh, man. Oh, sit out slam. Oh, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Oh, 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 what a nasty knee lift. Braun Strowman. Boom. Oh, Braun takes him down. Absolute destruction from Strowman. Down on her DDT. And here comes the cover. Is it enough? of a second. Northern right suplex. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And uses the arm drag to reverse. Boot to the gut will stop anyone in their tracks. Yeah, the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. the submission. Put in a position now. Planet face first. This is just establishing dominance. Oh, Ooh. what a stop right to the chest. Are you kidding me? Tremendous power by Strowman hoisting him up. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. has become a monumental struggle for these competitors. It is down to who still has the energy, the resolve, to put the pedal to the metal. Escobar connecting with the Phantom Driver. Escobar has this wrapped up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh are you are kidding me? Back of his neck. Man. Oh, knee right to the spine. Ooh. Oh, man. Might as well be in the batting cage now. Here he goes for the win. They close it out. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Oh, saw it coming. Looking for the Hurricane Rana. Incredible display of power. How about a power bomb? Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Escobar able to dodge that. No clue what he hopes to find down there. And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. Reversal from Gulak. Could be thinking about the gory special, yes. Oh, the gore. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful skip. <laughs> Fought off with an elbow. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. What energy in the arena tonight. The confidence of Escobar, clearly through the roof. A rare manhandling of Strowman here. 
Gulak with a systematic attack. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. This is just getting uncomfortable at this point. The slips here. How do you recover from that? Does he get it here? Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. That is just pure instinct at this point. He's turning the tables. And Escobar isn't looking helpless anymore. Escobar hoping to start a blitz of his own. Boom, nice. Boom, oh, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. He saw that one coming. Escobar connecting with the Phantom Driver. The big gun fired yet again. He kicks out somehow. I knew Strowman was a monster, but I know now just how indestructible he truly is. I lost count of how many times this match should have ended by now. This packed house is going absolutely nuts. They don't want this match to end. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Get him into the corner. Gulak saves himself. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. What? What? Oh, oh, what do you say? That this is amazing. What a match! He'll head to the ring. Able to interrupt the attack. Oh my goodness! What an impactful STO. German suplex. Drew Gulak to Gulak. Drew Gulak with a Gulak to submit. And he breaks the submission. Oh, Strowman, what power! The Monster of all Monsters with a Monster Slam! Ron should show mercy. It's over! It is over! Here is your winner, Braun Strowman! Quite the performance from all three superstars in this match. Yeah, it may sound cliche, but you have to keep your head on a swivel in a match like this. And our winner did just that. Here comes Michael Cole's favorite team in all of WWE, Damage Control. Oh, God. Don't let Bailey hear that, Corey. Bailey, hey, over here. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring, representing Damage Control from San Jose, California, Bailey. Attitudes and personalities aside, Damage Control is one of the most impressive factions we have ever seen in the women's division, ever seen in WWE at all. They are arguably the most decorated team to ever be in WWE too, Michael. That's where a lot of the attitude comes from. A team of winners all coming together for a common goal, taking over the women's division that they so clearly belong on top of. Could that be it? Dominance, thy name is Damage Control.
The generation of Jade has begun. And I don't think it'll ever end. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jade. Cora Jade has called herself the savior of the women's division. Look, Jade isn't here to play games and make friends. She's here to face the best of the best and take them down. She certainly doesn't suffer from a lack of confidence. A match against Bailey is opportunity. Ringing the doorbell. Ding dong. Hello. Hopefully, this young lady doesn't get the door slammed in her face. Action has made it back to the ring, and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Uh-oh, Forearm going to cut off the win. Guillotine. The guillotine locked in. This is all it is. That was an incredible counter. She's fighting back. When you're dealing with a renowned strategist like Bailey, patience is key. Bailey wants to lure you into overexposing yourself and making mistakes. You have to be careful. Only attack when you see a nice, clean opening. Seizing upon those ideal moments definitely sounds like a good way to get the better of the always scheming Bailey. Able to sidestep it. Right hand after right hand. This is ugly. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. And wait a minute. What's the manager doing under the apron? Bailey avoids the assault. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Taking it to the floor. What's she going to do? DDT! Is it enough? Just power out. Side of the ring now. What's the plan here? Whoa. Throws her back in from ringside. Three. Ah. Oh, did we see a tooth fly out? That blow put Bailey's big aspirations on hold for a moment. Yeah, Cora showed that killer instinct. Cora Jade pulled no punches, delivering that offense. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Kick to the stomach. Puts an end to that. These two trading counters, an absolute master class. Knife edge chop. Head control applied. What a tornado DDT. And Jade's caught with a reversal. Oh! She wants the contact. Ah, oh, Bailey's got her where she wants. There's the rose plant. Jade's in deep peril here. There's two. It wasn't enough. She kicked out. She was barely able to get that shoulder up. I cannot believe she had the wherewithal. And now there must be a level of annoyance in Bailey. Annoyed that it did it. result in a three count. Shoulder up before the count started. Looks like there's some more fight left in her. Shoulder tackle. Strong counter from Jade. Slice bread. Jade thinking she can close this one out. Kick to the body. Uh, Cora Jade with a double arm DDT. Jade can seal it here. Looking for the victory. Two count. Amazing. I don't know what you have to do to keep Bailey down, but 
you better reopen the playbook. There's got to be some sense of desperation right now. She's used her best weapon, but the match still continues. Oh, oh nice suplex. You talk about competition, you talk about drive in this business. This is what we're talking about. These women refusing to let up on each other, just unloading everything they have. This has been an epic encounter. These fans are sending the decibel level off the scale. Up and down into the shin breaker. Oh, Dragon screw. Oh my goodness. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Seated by Onyx Elba. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Slowly getting up, but she won't like what she's met with. Up high. You gotta be kidding me. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. Drop kick to the back. Cora can't find a foothold in this match. Jade needs to find a trick in her playbook now. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. A torturous knee. Could be seconds away from seeing Jade fall. Bailey shot to the back. There's the rose plant. Is Bailey closing this out? There's two. What a win for Bailey. Here is your winner, Bailey. So Cora J comes out on the losing end here. The role model setting yet another example of sheer excellence. Listen to this frenzy for L.A. Knight. If any dummies out there don't know, now they know. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. Definitely set to make an impact in WWE. There's no doubt LA Knight has created something special with the WWE Universe. It's a real movement with everybody saying his name. Now it becomes about what can Knight do with it. He's back at NXT. A man who has completely transformed himself mentally and physically. Really uh, went through a resurgence and a rebirth when he returned to NXT. Had a new attitude. McIntyre now laser focused. Continues to dominate everything in his path.
McIntyre has summoned the WWE Universe to aid him in battle along his passionate journey to fulfill his destiny atop WWE. McIntyre has remained laser focused on striking down adversary after adversary. Yeah, and McIntyre's intensity is always off the charts. Drew McIntyre is ready for war. Superstars finally enter the ring, and we are officially underway. Spinebuster. Could lead to a big-time win. Oh, stop to the tummy. Tummy? A knee drop delivered. So precise. Big-time knee lariat combo. With the Lariat. Ooh, point of the elbow counters that. STO takedown. Oh, watch this power. What a gut wrench power bomb. You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a power bomb with that much force. Landing power bomb. Cover. Shoulders are down. Oh, somehow showing his determination. Play possum. Whoa, play possum. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Able to parry that one. Bad predicament right here. Oh, right to the floor. And he goes for the pin. Shoulder up before two. Not even a near fall there. How do you prepare for a showdown with someone like Drew McIntyre, who just charges straight into a fight? Treat the Scottish warrior as you would a charging bull. He might charge headstrong into an inopportune situation if you can plan correctly. Or you could catch Drew from the top. Oh, God! A terribly risky move, and it did not pay off. Icarus could have done it better. Flex. Oh, God. Trapping the arm. Cross face submission is a. Your arm is trapped in the cross face. There's no escape. Oh, yes, yeah, there is. is. He must have had that scouted. And gets tossed back into the mat. Big forearm. Uh-oh. Turning the tables there. Really just laying it in. Ooh, knee drop connects. Measured up nicely. Fist drop. Big impact off the neck breaker. And McIntyre getting clobbered there. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. The elbow finds the mark. He finds a counter to McIntyre there. Here's the torture rack. Racked up. Not finished yet. Neck breaker. What is Drew McIntyre looking for here? Defying the laws of physics. Boom! Face first, Alabama slam. Nothing but blind rage. 
Great defense by Knight. Counter after counter. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. He steps foot in the ring again. Tagging this outside. This could be good. What are we about to see? That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. And you have to think moves like that are why LA Knight is so confident. Just one of many reasons. Knight is the real deal in every sense of the word. Returning to the ring now. Fans off the attack with an elbow. Looks like L.A. Knight got busted up there. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent and tossing them aside. And it's a long way down from there. He switches it back around. L.A. Knight, BFT for Knight. L.A. Knight with a big time move. And all the bloodshed, perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner, L.A. Knight. Drew McIntyre has been defeated. Drew could not seize control of this match. This is not what McIntyre expected. And we don't know what kind of damage McIntyre suffered. The best in the world. Sent a message when he said, quote, I'm not here to make friends, I'm here to make money. He's facing fierce competition nowadays. Well, listen, Punk's famous for not playing well with others. There are many men who have shaken his hand who now want to be the one who topples the best in the world. Well, they've got to be ready for this brand new version of CM Punk. Already at his peak, but primed and ready to reach new heights. return was an amazing moment but now he must capitalize yeah easier said than done because the competition is now at an all-time high is being the best in the world still good enough
Jey Uso is here, and he is a new man. And his opponent, from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, main event, Jey Uso! Jey Uso in something of a new position on his own. Some trepidation, but also some freedom. Well, as much as he gained from the bloodline and his brother, becoming the main event is something Jey needs to do on his own. And Jay is more than equipped to do it. The entire WWE Universe on their feet for Jey Uso. Well, it sounds like this entire arena agrees that this is indeed the main event. <laughs> Referee signals for the bell, and we are finally underway. These superstars are seeing red right now, gentlemen. Oh. Shining Wizard! Oh, impressive counter. Bam! What a slap! Uh-uh! Clearly no love loss between these two with a display like that. And just got caught with that DDT. Yeah. Punk wasting no motion on the counter. Oh, float over a Russian leg sweep. And Corey, it's something some superstars might discount, but when you're in the ring with CM Punk, you just have to accept his ability to get the crowd on his side. The smart thing to do when you're in there with Punk is to drown out all the noise. Focus on the man, not his masses. Ah, oh, that gets reversed on CM Punk. Snap power slam. Boom, what a kick. Elbow drop. Connects the fist to the face. Great. No signs of either combatant backing down. Looks like a hockey fight's just broken out. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. Super kick. Across the small of the back. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. He saw it coming, taking advantage. CM Punk with a jaw and Yuridagi. Look at this. Main event, Jey Uso's big dream. A couple of knees there. That'll get him out of it. Looking for a... Uh-oh. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Slam. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Kicks out. He still has life. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Spear. Jay can seal it here. That's gotta be it. Two. What a kick out at two. I thought that was it, but the resilient CM Punk refused to stay down. Main event, Jey Uso with a close call right there. He definitely thought he had that one in the bag. Jey is imposing his will. Yeah, he's focused on Punk. Not this crowd's response or reaction, just Punk. Drowning out the noise has paid off. Jumping clothesline! What a jit! Getting do back it. into the ring. Oh, straight to the floor! Face meet floor. I think I see a few teeth on the floor. Bob hoisting up his opponent, looking to finish him here! Go to sleep! 
Look at Jay, his lights are off. Two! Ah, oh, he was almost finished. An emphatic kick out from Jay Uso. How in the world did he get the shoulder up? And Punk might have just swung for the fences, but it wasn't good enough. Caught him right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Oh! Now a series of vicious acts in the turnbuckle. Stumps. That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. Ouch. Elbow drop. Piercing. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Fly. Ah, look at this. Some serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. Oh, weakening the leg here. And Jay finds himself on the receiving end again. Oh, this should be it. Uh-oh. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Right the wrong into a neck breaker. No backing down here. They really want to make sure the best man comes out on top in this one. He manages to escape it. Vicious right forearm. Hooked up. A quick reversal by Jay. Spear! Jay nailed all of it. Is it enough? The cover! There's two! And a kick out. No one saw that coming. Unbelievable. I thought Punk was done for sure. Never underestimate. No! The dive! Pinpoint precision right on target. Oh! Ooh, stomp to the tummy. Tummy? Anything can happen in WWE, and this audience is seeing that firsthand. The entire WWE universe is going to have to pick their jaws off the floor after this one's done. Oh! And now thrown back into the ring. up the win. Here is your winner. Main event. Awesome. CM Punk disappointed with this loss tonight. This win has Jay pumped up. Winning is what he's all about. Just another day in the office for Jay Uso.